Today we're going to solve inequalities. Solve inequalities. Well, the word inequality, um, it means not equal. Well, if something is not equal, then it's either less than or greater than, or greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. Okay? And let's look at those signs that I just that I just mentioned. And the, the terminology that, that I just used, that terminology has signs. Um, less than. This is the less than. This is the um, less than or equal to. This is the greater than sign. And this is the greater than or equal to. Now, a lot of people get these, um, these signs mixed up. And you hear people talking about um, the alligator, the alligator is the biggest number and all that stuff. Um, uh, well, just in case you don't, uh, you know, you can't remember that, okay? If, if you, if you'll think of a number line, think of a number line. A number line has less than and greater than signs on it. I don't know if you've ever noticed it, but they're there, Okay. At the end of every number line, we know that this number line goes on forever, right? And we know that this side, it goes on forever. Do you see the greater than or equal to sign? The greater than or less than sign? Okay. These numbers, the more you go to the right to the left, the numbers get smaller. So that's why this is a less than. The numbers on this side of your number line, they get larger. So that's why we call this the greater than sign. Okay? I also tell my, tell my students that um, if you look at your hands, let me show you this. We said that um, this is less than, and this is greater than, okay? If you look at your hands, you'll see two, you'll see, you should see the less than sign and the greater than sign, okay? Here is your... Here's your less than sign. And on my right hand side, this is my greater than sign. Okay. Um, I always tell right handed students, if you're right handed, then I and I'm right handed. Since this is my my strongest hand, this is my strongest hand, okay? My right hand is my strongest hand, my strongest hand. Well, since it's my strongest hand. It also holds a greater than sign. Okay, since this is my um, my my weakest hand, it holds the less than sign. So I don't know if anybody ever showed that to you, but I mean, that's just something I tell my students so that that'll help them remember. Because so I won't hear anything about the alligator. Okay, um, but the alligator is okay. Uh, but anyway. Today we're going to solve inequalities. Okay? So let's get started. I'm going to start with just a simple um, one step. X plus 2 is less than 6. If you've not watched my videos on solving equations, I recommend you watch those videos because we're going to use the same methods to solve inequalities as we did to solve equations okay so 
let's get started. We have x plus 2 is less than 6. Um, I want to, just like with an equation, I want to isolate my x. So on the x side, I have a plus 2, so I'm going to subtract 2 on both sides because my um, old uh, algebra teachers tell me whatever you do on the left hand side you have to do on the right hand side. Um, the twos they're going to cancel each other out. That's going to leave me with x is less than 6 minus 2 is 4. So I can pick what this means x is less than 4. I can choose any number that's less than 4. Any number less than 4 will make this true. And we normally write, do that on, show this on a number line. Here's my 4, 5, 6, 3, 2. Um, since this, now, since any number that's less than 4, is 4 included? If I put a 4 in here, if I put a word to put a 4 in here, 4 plus 2, well, what is 4 plus 2? Let's, let's just do that right now. x plus 2 is less than 6. If I put 4 in this inequality, 4 plus 2 is 6. Is 6 less than 6? No, it's not. 6 is not less than 6, so therefore, 4 is not included. So I can't, when I draw the number line, since 4 is not included, I'm going to draw an open circle over my 4. Because as you can see, 6 is not, 6 is not less than 6. Okay? So now, which numbers, now to determine where my, the way my arrow is going to go, and some people say you, you, the, the, the arrow, the um, number line goes in the direction of the inequality. Well, that's not true all the time. It's not true all the time. So you want to remember that which numbers will are less than 4 on both sides of this 4? Are these numbers less than 4 or are these numbers are less than 4? Well, is 5 and 6 less than 4? No. Is 2 and 3 less than 4? Yes. So therefore, my number line is going to be pointing, going that way. Okay? Let's work another one. Let's say 8 is greater than 2x minus 6. Okay? Again, I want to isolate my variable. I want to leave my 2x alone. I don't want to move it yet. I want to move this minus 6. So I'm going to add 6 to both sides. The 6's are going to cancel each other out. That's going to be with 8 plus 6 is 14 is greater than 2x. Now I want to isolate my x. I'm going to divide both sides by 2. The 2 is going to cancel, so 14 divided by 2 is 7 is greater than x. Well, let's put it on the number line. And a lot of people, when they draw the number lines, they draw always write the numbers from 1 to 10, okay? You don't have to write the numbers from 1 to 10. Just take this number, put it in the center, and put two numbers on both sides. That's what I tell my students, okay? So, um, it says 7 is greater than x. 7 is greater than x. Hmm. So, everything's going to revolve around the 7. So, I'm going to go to my 7. Now, is 7 included? 7 is greater than 7? No. So since 7 is not included, we're going to draw our open circle. So I want to know 7 is greater than which numbers? Is 7 greater than these numbers? 
or 7 greater than these numbers? Is 7 greater than 8 and 9? No. Is 7 greater than these numbers? Yes. So all these numbers to the left of 7 will make this true. Okay? But not including 7. Please don't include 7. Okay? Let's try another one. Four X. Let's make it a negative four X. Because I want to show you something else. Negative four X um, is plus two equals ten. Okay. I'm sorry. It's less than. We're doing inequalities. So. Okay. Negative four X plus two is less than or equal to ten. So I want to leave my X term alone. Leave my don't move. Don't deal with it first. Let's get rid of this plus 2. So let's subtract 2 on both sides. Your 2's are going to cancel out. So you're left with negative 4x is less than or equal to 10 minus 2 is 8. Okay? Now, we need to isolate the variable on the side by itself. So we need to get rid of that negative 4. In, in our problem before, we divide it by a positive number. We divide it by a positive number. But with an inequality, when you divide or multiply, when you divide or multiply by a negative number, you switch your sign. Okay? So your 4 is going to cancel. That's going to leave you with x on the left. And 8 divided by negative 4 is negative 2. But since we divide it by a negative number, we're going to change it to greater than or equal to. Okay? Now let's graph it on our number line. So everything revolves around negative 2. Negative 1, 0, negative 3, negative 4. Okay, now, x is greater than or equal to negative 2. Greater than or equal. It could be greater than or it can be equal to. So it could be either one of those, one or the other. Okay? So since I'm going to put a circle over my 2, but if I were to put a 2 here into this, if I were to say 2 is greater than or equal to, I'm sorry, if I were to say negative 2 is greater than or equal to negative 2, is this true? This is true. So since this is true, I'm going to close my circle. Because negative 2 is greater than or equal to negative 2. That's true. So I'm going to close my circle. Now I need to determine whether I'm, my arrow is going to be pointing to the right or to the left. Well, which numbers are greater than or equal to negative 2? Are these numbers greater than or equal to negative 2? Or are these numbers greater than or equal to negative 2? Well, negative 4. Let's put in negative 4. Negative 4 is greater than or equal to negative 2. Well, let's put, on, let's put on the number line. And I like to draw my number line up or down, up and down. So I have uh, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Here is negative 4, and here is negative 2. Negative 4 is less than negative 2. It's below negative 2. It's not greater than. It's below negative 2. So this side is a no.
but let's try negative let's try negative one let's look at negative one is negative one greater than or equal to negative two yes negative one is above negative two so therefore it's going to be pointing this way just always remember if you with inequalities inequalities will, will work the same as e, as equations however when you divide or multiply by a negative number you need to switch your sign for instance if your problem looks like this or if your problem looks like this your problem looks like this when you divide by negative 2 the 2 is going to cancel you're left with x on the left and negative 3 on the right because 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 since I divided by a negative number I divide it by a negative number I'm going to change that switch that from less than to greater than okay if I multiply by a negative if you don't know what I just did watch my video on solving one-step equations if I multiply by a negative I multiply both sides by a negative multiply by a negative you're going to cancel each other out that's going to leave you with x on the left and 6 times negative 2 is negative 12 I need to switch my sign from less than to greater than okay well, that's the end. I hope this video helped you out with solving inequalities. If you have any concerns or suggestions, please email me at mathwithmoo at gmail.com and I'll be more than happy to answer your requests or, um, or take your suggestions. And I'll see you later and you need to have a great day. All right, bye.